So it's really so much like uh, Vermont and upstate New York here, topographically. I was just saying to somebody, it's just bigger and hotter. But driving these back roads is very familiar. And uh, it's just funny because in, up in upstate New York, they've got paved roads and good signage. In Vermont, we got good signage and unpaved roads. Here, they got uh, paved roads and no real signage. It's a little bit hard for me to figure out where the heck I am or if I've been on the right road for, you know. I've been on a road for a while before I know which road it is, put it that way. But we're doing, I'm doing okay so far, and it's really pretty. Look at these horses. Well, <clears throat> I've seen signs, so I'm in the right place. Half a mile to the uh, Cardinal Point Vineyard. Looks like the right kind of place up on the hill there. Oh, nice, they got a windmill too. Until 5.30, so I'm actually not in such bad shape. Most of it was in American, and then um, he had a little bit in a handful of French oak barrels, and then he blended them all together at the end. It was a little time open or a little aeration. A bottle, a bottle. <laughs> if the quattro is a blend of four, sweet and fruity up on the front end, imbalance, sweet wine. You know, it shifts a little bit. I'm avoiding it, don't worry. <laughs> Some people don't, you know. I <laughs> He does this for 18 months and he does some pretty wild stuff with this. The first 12 months, it's actually in French and American, all ages and stages. So new, neutral, um, everything in between. But then he moves everything over into brand new American barrels for the last six months. And he's doing this because he wants the texture, he wants the vanilla, uh, kind of little hints of the vanilla from the French oak. But he also wants that earthiness of the American. He wants to play up that Cabernet Franc, which is a very earthy grape to begin with. Oh, I see an imploded tank over there. around for this cat I heard is runs the place. His name's Obain. They refer him as Obey One Cat Nobi. Now that looks like an imploded tank right there. Like maybe ooh I don't know if it fell over or the lid was on and suction. Who knows? Pretty reasonably sized facilities. The 
Looks like they've got a nice setup here in back on the lawn to do uh, little events. Of course, this is you know nothing in comparison scale to the last place. Although it's interesting because you know where's Pippin Hill? It's it's the winery, it's the destination spot, but they. Uh, the wines are actually being made over at the Custom Crush facility. I'm guessing that at some point they might do something there. They've got a lot of grapes coming in, but maybe not. In this place, they seem to do everything here, and it's a little bit more uh, startup scale, so to speak. Even though Pippin Hill is brand new, so that, that represents a big capital investment, obviously. So, all right, well, it's time to go back to Charlottesville. I need to do some stuff and shop for a few things and get ready for tomorrow. I like the burlap treatment up on the, uh, the arbor there. It's kind of nice. I give them all credit. They, everybody pretty much takes their perennial bud seriously. Okay, so that was a successful little Venture. Uh, it's interesting. While all these places are in the same area, they aren't piled right on top of one another. They are spread out a little bit. And as I found out at Virginia Wine Works, uh, the fruit can come from all over the place. I mean, he had one uh, one of his viognets where the fruit came from as far as down by Roanoke and up by the West Virginia border. So. Um, definitely happening here. There's definitely a lot of it. Uh, now, damned if I remember which way was which.